Hey cuties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a GFX inside Roblox. And the GFX intro is a little bit more harder, so I'll try to show you that until the next video, or as soon as I can. But the first thing is that you're going to go to Roblox Studio. How to go to Roblox Studio is you're going to press the Create button, and then going to press Start Creating. And then after that, um, if you don't see it yet, make sure you download Roblox Studio so you can see it better and then it's going to take a long a kind of a while for it to load but then it should take you to this place and after that what you're supposed to do once once you get there once and after that what you're supposed to do once you get here is that you're going to press classic base plate and then it should take you to this. And if you don't have your toolbox already yet, make sure you go to home. It should take you to home. And then you just press the toolbox and then it should be there. And then now you can choose any room you would like to have. And what room I'm going to choose is aesthetic room. I love aesthetic rooms. I don't know why though. And then I'm going to... Let me see this one. You can just take some time to think which one you like or which one you don't like and which one you would like to keep. I'm thinking I'm going to go with this one. It kind of takes a while to load. Okay, so there it is. And then... Okay, so this is it, and then what I'm going to press now is that I'm going to press move so it can be perfectly gray-ish. Yes, this is exactly where you want it to be. And then after that, you're going to press, you're going to search up load character. Make sure you spell character correctly, or else it might not be there. Like, see, I didn't, press, I didn't spell it correctly, and it wasn't there, so you actually have to spell it correctly. There we go. Okay, and then you're going to press this one. And then now it should be there. And then you're going to go to plugins. If it doesn't work, just go to the description. And I have actually made a video in case it doesn't work for there. And then after that, you're going to press load character. And then you're going to search up what character you want to use. You can use other people's or you can use yourselves. And in this video, I think I'm going to use... My in any case you want me to make you a GFX if it's if it, for some reason it's not on you at all, let me know your Roblox username and I'll get you a GFX in no time. And then you're gonna press spawn to six. Spawn R15 is if you want to make an intro and for it to be more detailed. And we're just gonna screenshot, so I might as well do this one. And then after that, since it's all the way over here. You're going to grab it and put it in there. And if you want to, of course, see it better. Let me put this up in here, too. Let me press move. And if you and if it's, like, far away from you, like, let's just say for some reason all the way this far away from me, you can just press your character. And then you're going to press F, and it's going to perfectly work just fine. And then after that, you can zoom a little out. Then you're going to press your room or living room or anything you have. And then you're going to go back to model. You're going to press move again. And you want it to be exactly where it can fit you. Like, this is a good, I guess. Then after that, it is totally optional if you want a pet. And I want a pet, and you can do any pet you want. I'm thinking I'm going to do a unicorn because I love unicorns. And I always love to do the pastel one, but you can do any one you want. Like, ooh, one second. Ooh, I like this one. I think I'm going to use this one. I think I'm going to use the cotton candy unicorn. And then, right now, one second. 
And right now you're gonna... I'm gonna grab my pets to be next to it. And then I'm gonna press rotate. You can put it however you would like for it to be, but I want my mind to be just like this. One second. And if you don't want a pet that is totally fine, I'll still work with that one. Okay, great. It has exactly where I want it to be. Okay, so now that you've already done that, you're going to kind of want to zoom in. And you're going to... I like the... And then you're going to switch up sky. Then you can use any sky you want. I'm going to use this one. The sky part is optional, but I just like to use it because it just matches with everything. But then, right now, you're going to zoom in. Oh, where is it? Then I'm going to grab, do this and press F again. Okay, and then, whoa. One second. Okay, so I kind of, I think I kind of needed to be a little bit more downish. So I'm going to click the move button again. And then I'm going to put it down more. Is this good for me? Um, yeah, I think so. Then I'm going to click it there. Then I'm going to grab my unicorn closer. Okay, there. And then now what you want to do is that since you have everything together and in place, what you're going to do is that, oh, and if you want to, you can, if you want to wave your arm, you can press the little arrow. And then you can scroll down, and then you press, oh no, then you don't, you don't press that, my bad. Then if I, I want to do my left arm, because it looks better my right arm, I don't know why, but it just looks weird to me. But you can then press rotate, and then here you can, oh, wrong, wrong one. How to press the back button, okay. And then here, you can go like this side. And then you can, let's see here, oh, and then right now you can press the move button, and then you click back on your arm that you are using, or your leg, either one, and then I'm going to put it a little up so it can look better, and then now it looks like it's kind of waving, and right now I'm going to go back to my right arm. And then I kind of want it to be a little bit more downish. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make it be more down and put it like this. And then I go back to the move. And I'm going to put it in. And then right now it looks okay-ish. You, yours, yours can look better than mine. Either one is fine. Then you're going to press right arm. Wait, is that it? No, wrong one. Okay left arm i want mine to be perfect personally so that's why i'm doing all this and um now it's time to take for your screenshot so for your screenshot and then um uh you're gonna click on your thing and then right now you're gonna press right left arm and then you're gonna do this and then after that's time to take your screenshot so to take my screenshot i'm gonna press select and then if you have an editor you can just take your screenshot but if you don't have an editor actually you can go to model Wait, where is it you can go to view and next to view there's this thing that's a screenshot you're gonna click the screenshot and make sure you take multiple and it's gonna take it and then that is all what you do i hope you enjoyed this video and if it doesn't work for you i can make i can make you yours and this guy is totally optional i really liked it hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you next time bye